another day like that until you come back here today, right? Um, describe what it was like for you just uh, taking the adjustment from uh, what your role was last year, the carries you were getting, and then being patient and, and then having a day like the one you had today. Um, it just – Can we not get – you guys hear me? We're not getting – Yeah, we can hear you. Um, it's just being patient throughout the whole season, just knowing you have to adjust to a new offense and things like that. But I know we guys have weapons all around, so you just got to be patient with everything. And our um, guys did a um, great job up front today. <clears throat> we'll go next to Trevor. Hey, David, just more along those lines. I mean, Coach Affley has said all year that you've just stayed patient and, you know, been ready when your name has been called. So can you just describe what it's been like this year when some, some days you're getting a lot of carries, other days you're not getting too many, but just how you've stayed ready every day? Um, you never know what can happen throughout the game. It can um, always be a quick change. So, I mean, if we pass the ball, even if we run it, I'm always ready for whatever and take my um, role in any part that we do in the game. So just knowing, like I just said, last question, we have weapons all around, as you guys can see. So you have to adjust to other people in the ball then when your time comes. So you always got to be ready all the time. <clears throat> take our next question from Rich. Rich, can you hear us? All right, we'll move on from Rich. Any other uh, questions? We'll go to Mark Frank. David, can you just talk about Syracuse's effort today, you know, coming into the game one and six, uh, one and five in the conference, and you got, you know, as much as you can handle from them? Um, we knew coming into the game it was going to take their best shot. I mean, they're a great program. They're, we know we're going to play us hard, and, um, you know, it's a rival game. So anything can happen, no matter what the record is, you just got to go out there and play your hard. Syracuse, they gave us our best shot today. Go back to Julian. I mean, this one wasn't necessarily the, the, the perfect game, the one where you throw a 35 and everything is clicking. Um, what does it say just about holding it together, right? Like, uh, Phil isn't necessarily connecting on the deep balls, but he finds an immediate. You, find, you, you guys in the ground game find ways to get first downs, keep the chains moving, uh, and you still figure out a way to get away. Um, just staying together. It's always FTT for the team, so. Uh, with everything we've been going through, just with the COVID and everything, I feel like it brings us um, together as a, as a family more than the team. So just just going through everything and just keep going every week, even when there's somebody not having their best game, the next person has to step up. It's always the next man up. And as a follow, uh, I think Kevin asked this one earlier. It was the dome weird? No people? Oh, I like the dome. I like playing in the dome a lot. I mean, because you got the perfect weather for football and just you know, the dome, you got to worry about no rain, no snow, or anything. Out there. This time you didn't have to worry about no people, though. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing, too. Um, we had just to that, no people and everything at home. But other than that, we love ball, so we're going to keep playing. We're all fans, we're all, um, with fans. Go next to Dan. David, when you have those those downs that, like, you got, you, you know it's a, it's a run up the middle or a run in between the tackles, and, and you're looking up and you know Syracuse is going to bring bring guys up to it, how hard is it to just keep training for those yards and, and to keep yourself upright when you're, you know, trying to push a pile or gain those short yardage runs? Um, sometimes it's difficult for um, the fine holes when everybody bring a lot of pressure and stuff like that. But with our old line, we, um, they get a push, do a great job every time. So even though I just get behind anything, if nothing there, my old line going to press me um, and make me get yards. So it's a great thing. All right, David, we're going to see if uh, Rich can hear us now. Rich, can you hear us? Question's all yeah. yours if you're here. Okay, thanks. Uh, finally get through. Um, Last year you had the big game, but do you feel like you really earned your yards today? Um, yeah, I feel like every game you have to earn your yards. I mean, you're not going to get anything um, easy. So just running, just trusting my eyes and the old line doing their job. So, I mean, every game is not hard, but some games might be easier than other games. But I feel like this game was a pretty hard game, and our old line did a great job. Last question for David goes to Mark Frank. David, you mentioned playing in the Dome and liking the Dome. This is your second straight 100 – plus yard game in the dome. What is it about the dome that you like? Or is it just a coincidence? <laughs> and you, you're in the dome. You got to worry about anything. You got to worry about none of these surroundings. And it just us guys in there definitely doing this time. Just um, Syracuse versus BC. So just got to keep going. And um, basically just go ball. All right. Thanks a lot, David. Thanks, Thank you.